go. Both teams are making their way out onto the pitch here, which was used last night between uh, Wolves and Manchester City in a, an, an under-21s reserves game. Wolves winning that to go through to the next round of the elite round, but the pitch actually looks in very good condition, bearing in mind it was played on last night and all the recent weather we've had. I'm sure it will cut up a bit. That may have an impact on the, uh, the type of football we're going to see this evening. The Telford are in their white shirts, black shorts and black socks. Barrow in their sky blue shirts and shorts and white socks. It's going to be Barrow to get us underway this evening, though, live at the Buckshead here on BBC Radio Shropshire on 96 FM, and we are underway. Telford kicking from our left to right. Barrow get us underway. Rutherford making a run straight away down the middle, and a foul conceded by the Telford midfielder Nathan Rooney, which gives Barrow an early chance here, 35 yards away from goal. Telford at home have not been as solid as they have been on their travels. Certainly when you look at the goals against, there's a big difference. Now here's a shot from the edge of Telford's penalty area, safely into the hands of Ryan Young. From Telford's point of view, not enough power on it, and also pretty much straight up Ryan Young. Long ball forward, Telford now on the charge. Here's Chris Sharp with his very bright red boots on. Finds Nathan Rooney, who scuffs his shot. Telford still have a chance with Lou Cubbins on the edge of Barrow's penalty area. Hubbins, though, runs into trouble. And Telford regain it in their midfield. Fed in by Salmon. Head of it. Tipped over by the keeper. Offside against Sharp. It's Telford nil, Barrow nil. Both teams having a chance early on in this game. Ball's out of play. Telford have a throw. Ten yards in front of the halfway line. Quite a good crowd, actually. We were led to believe it wasn't going to be that big tonight, but uh, I think it's uh, got a, a decent size attendance for tonight's game, for a, a midweek game. It's been ten days since Telford last played. They beat Nuneaton here in the oh, FA Trophy. Up. The Bucks defending the goal away to our left, though. Barrow down their left. They have men waiting for it. Here's Orman to the dead ball line, pulls it back to the near post. The shots into the side netting from Boys, and it's going to be a Telford goal kick, but already Barrow have come at Telford. A free kick against Telford here. Chris Sharp appealing to the referee that uh, he shouldn't have given a free kick against them. But again, it's just uh, you don't want to gift free kicks to a side who look really comfortable on the ball. They've started extremely well in this game. Their passing is picking out Barrow players. And there's a clearance which has hit Luke Hubbins flush in the face on the halfway line by Hesse. And uh, the Telford winger just taking his time to get back to his feet. A good muscling and jostling full position there by the Telford striker James Spray. Now Phil Trainer wins it in midfield for the uh, Bucks and now switches it out to the left-hand side. Great control by Valentine. Neat touch to Leslie, shoots, bounces once awkwardly in front of Hurst. And uh, the Barrow keeper did very well. Got his body right behind it in case any awkward bounces. Steve, he had it covered. Despite a couple of chances for the away team, it is still nil-nil between these two sides. Nathan Rooney gets in a strong challenge now. Sharp's in behind the defender. Sharp on the right edge of Barrow's penalty area. Goes for goal and saved by Hurst low to his left-hand side. Well, he opened up for them. It was a rare mistake by Anderson. It's a centre-back stepping forward probably when he should have held his position, Steve. Sharp down that right channel, brought it back onto his left boot. Didn't make the best of connections, but he got it on target. And uh, it's still goalless in this game so far as we approach the half-hour mark here. But a corner for the Bluebirds. They have players next to the penalty spot. One in front of a keeper, one at the near post in Rutherford, one of the shorter players on the pitch. And a couple of the, uh, the rangy players are waiting to make a late run towards the far post. Barrow have a corner then, heading goalwards! Huff off the bar! May have had a bit of a touch from the Telford keeper, Ryan Young. The head of row from Anderson. We mentioned there one of those taller players coming in, making that late run. And his header striking the uh, the bar flush on. May just have had a fingertip save from Ryan Young. 
Telford to uh, have this free kick with Leslie. Left footed, good height, good pace, shot saved by the keeper, headed back in by Sharp, cleared away by uh, Baker. And a few afters there between uh, two of the players, but Leslie goes for goal again. Wicked deflection, goal for Telford. It was Steve Leslie's shot, took a wicked deflection, I think possibly of Chris Sharp past Hurst. But Telford have opened the scoring. It's Leslie who deserves for credit. And Telford have the lead by one goal to nil. Telford clear it again from inside their defence up to the centre circle. So Telford taking the lead through Steve Leslie. Hubbins tackled by Hesse, the Barrow left back. How will that change the, the dynamics of this game, though, Steve? I'd be fascinating to see what it does for both teams. Barrow will continue to, to, to press Telford, but Telford, well, a bit of argy-bargy going on between Jordan Rose and the Barrow forward. I think it's uh, Alex Ray Harvey, the former Burnley man, who's been very quiet in this game. And... Um, very small player, one of the sh very short compared with Jordan Ra uh, Rose, who towers above him there. But um, I think both players were to blame, and I think the referee has handled that fair enough, uh, just telling both players off. Yeah, Hyde in 18th place. We are underway then, the second half, live as always on BBC Radio Shropshire. We're on 96 FM tonight on DAB and online. Telford lead by a goal to nil. The Bucks kicking from our right to left. Free kick here for uh, the Bucks, Steve. Yeah, the thing that was most notable to me about this start for Telford is that within 30 seconds, Andy Sinton was on the sideline gesticulating at his players, telling them to push forward, demanding more energy from them, and we've seen it so far. Whipped in with pace, not away properly, though, by the uh, central defender, then a half-kick by Hunter, who's looked poor in possession. Leslie whips it in towards the back post, Hubbins knocks it back, Sharp goes for goal, and he's hit it over. Nine yards out. Chris Sharp, he was a decent effort because he had his back to goal originally on that occasion. But he was very close to being Telford's second of the night. And Valentine plays a beautiful crossfield ball from left to right. Spray to the dead ball line, drills it to the near post, gets a second chance. Can Telford double their lead? Shot from Hubbins, and it's wide. It was a glorious chance for Luke Hubbins. A better chance than I think people originally thought. Here's a chance for Steve Leslie at the other end. Leslie goes for goal. The keeper makes a right meal of it. And it would have been offside on the follow-up from Chris Sharp. Well, Leslie caught it sweetly with the uh, laces on his left boot. And it, we were right behind that one. He was going for the top left-hand corner. The ball just seemed to move slightly late. And Hurst stuck out his left palm. Uh, he got a firm wrist onto it really at central back now a mistake by the Barrow defender allows Spray in Spray goes for goal great save by Hurst well you must applaud the goalie there that is a super save but dynamic play from Jane Spray who's getting closer and closer to scoring created it himself down the right a mistake by the defender his shot was going in but a fine save from Danny Hurst trainer chips it down Telford's left to Spray 25 yards away from goal next to the corner flag on the Bucks left flank knocks it back to Leslie who pushes it past the defender to Rutherford runs around into the dead ball line back to Brown wide John Brown on the edge of the penalty area side foots it wide if he hits the target you fancy him to score good play by Louis Ormond on loan from Blackpool, shoots! It's narrowly over. Well, he made it for himself. Three Telford players couldn't deal with him. Ormond took it from the centre towards the edge of Telford's penalty area. Telford gathered it back in midfield to Spray, hugging this left wing. He's got Davis in support. Down there is Brown, good ball through to Brown, shoots! Good save by Hurst to his right-hand post. Will Salmon leaping up and down in the air saying, why didn't you pass it to me? But if you had have done, we would have been screaming, why didn't you shoot? <laughs> he had to shoot, and it was a good save by Hurst. Left-footed, there's a six-man wall in front of him. 
and it's Hesse who looks like he's going to uh, hit this one very hard. Hesse takes a long run up to it, strikes it firmly, was hit strongly, and he's got it on the follow-up. It's an equaliser, put in in the end by, I think it may have been Jackson. It was a fierce shot by Hesse, got through the wall, took Ryan Young by surprise, came back out, and there was Joe Jackson, who uh, chips it into the back of the net. Telford have conceded a late equaliser on the stroke of added on time. It's one all. But maybe a chance down the left on this occasion. Well, no, the full-time whistle goes. And, well, it's uh, a muted uh, response from the fans around us. Deflated is probably the word as well. It's finished Telford 1, Barrow 1. A goal for Telford right before the half-time whistle. A goal for Barrow right before the full-time whistle is the story of this game.